Hello everyone. Today I wanted to talk about group therapy. I have been to group therapy. In my third year of university I attended a group therapy uh, for about 12 weeks for anxiety. I kind of believed that it was something that I didn't need and I literally had no idea what to expect going in. I thought that I would hate it. I thought that it was going to be a one week thing and I would never go back and never do it again and it was going to suck. I was wrong. I attended every session and I was devastated when it ended. So a lot of times we think of group therapy as being just a group of random people with only one thing in common and we all just sit and talk about our feelings. Well, it's kind of like that, but it's so much more. So what I really want to do is to talk to you about the benefits of group therapy and sort of give you an internal knowledge of what to expect if you are interested in participating in therapy. So from my experience, I was nervous going in. I didn't know what to expect, but I, there are a few things that I want you to know. The first thing that you should know is that you don't have to talk. A lot of times I think people get it into their head that they are going to have to go to group therapy and they're going to have to talk and it's going to be uncomfortable and they're not going to want to. I never felt pressure to talk if I didn't want to. I never felt pressure to share if I was uncomfortable or if I wasn't ready. It was never forced. There were members in my group that were talkative and that's how they healed, that's how they learned, but there are also members in my group that they didn't really talk. They kept to themselves and they just listened actively. One of the things that you should really know about group therapy is just how supported you will feel. The environment that's created within a group isn't like any other. You all went to the group, you're all participating in this group for the same reason. You're all there because you feel like you need some assistance and you're all there because you want to do and make your life better. They are the people that will get it when you've had a panic attack on the bus. You know, you had to go back and you had to check whether you locked your door five times. They get it and they won't judge you. They'll support you and they'll want to assist you in overcoming those challenges. I think it's really, really important for people to know just how incredibly amazing it is to have someone understand you and understand your pain, your struggles, and understand your commitment to growth and healing. There were people in my group who I would say something and they would be hands down, yep, I've been there, I know exactly what you're feeling like, or that happened the other week, or dude, I know that sucks. That sort of understanding of having someone generally know what you're going through is incredible and it's so stress relieving to not feel alone. Group therapy can be extremely empowering. Another really awesome thing about group therapy is that you are learning and teaching each other. I think I learned more from a group therapy session than I ever learned from a one-on-one -on -one therapy session. There were just so many different voices, so many different stories within my group and each person brought a new perspective and a new challenge and a new solution to problems that I might have been encountering. Another really cool thing about group therapy is that it can, it doesn't necessarily have to end. So the physical sessions may come to a close, but it's not like one-on-one -on -one therapy where you won't necessarily see your therapist again afterwards. The bond that you can create with people in your group is something that can transfer from group to real life. I have a group chat with my group members and we still chat. You know, if someone's having a really bad day, we still feel comfortable to reach out and say, I'm having a really crap day. And they'll just vent and we're there to listen and to offer support and to, you know, offer some guidance in, in situations that may arise. That aspect of group therapy is really cool, is being able to take your group outside of the blocked time sessions and into the real world, into your everyday life. So those are my thoughts on group therapy, um, and that's my experience with it. I really, really hope that you found this video helpful. 
I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up it would mean a lot and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next one and I will chat with you all again very soon. Bye!